So, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, say thanks to the organization for inviting us here. I'm presenting um, a European Erasmus Plus project uh, that we developed with uh, all that institutions that we are say, seeing uh, um, down there at the, this first slide. And the, the project is called MUSE, that's the acronym for Museum Sector Alliance. And uh, although we are a Museum Sector Alliance project, we don't have any museum at our, um, at our project. But we do have some uh, professional organizations that work in museums like ICOM Portugal that I'm representing right now and ICOM Greece as well and some other um, uh, institutions like the Regione Emilia Romagna the, from Italy that works as well in, in projects. So I will start to um, uh, say something about uh, Musa. My presentation will not be so beautiful as the last one because I don't have uh, such a, uh, an archae archaeological findings of that uh, graphic beauty to show you, but I will try to, to show you some of our findings in this European project. Musa is a three-year project. We started in 2016. We should have um, uh, finished this project uh, last month, but uh, we have a six-month uh, approval uh, of, uh, for, to, to deal with some tasks that, were not, uh, that we cannot uh, do in the, in, the specific, in the specific time of the project. And we are addressing the, short, the shortage of digital skills that museum professionals and museums have uh, to cope with their work, with their daily work today um, in, in, uh, with the digital processes that the museums are involved with. Um, we are doing this project to benefit not only museums, but uh, mainly people, because we are an Erasmus Plus project or uh, a, a, an education project regarding competences uh, and digital. And uh, the, you can see our, our team over there. It changed a little bit since that picture. It's the, our first meeting in Athens in a, a boat that is a museum as well. And uh, we, are, we, we tried uh, in the last three years to uh, prepare some outcomes for the project. One of them was to identify uh, some uh, digital and uh, transversal competences that were lacking regarding digital, uh, the digital world in museums. We also wanted to learn more about some emerging job role profiles that museums are uh, having uh, or are asked to, to have these days. And we started to develop some uh, courses, some uh, uh, VET curriculum for, for museum people to work and to learn about them in some different cases, you were in some different methodologies that we, I will talk about later. Uh, uh, and we are doing this mainly online. So we started from, from the beginning, uh, three years ago, uh, not from the scratch, but we started uh, from another project, uh, another European project that was called Equal Skills, and they have defined some role prof uh, profiles about, um, about the uh, museum uh, digital uh, job profiles. And uh, we, uh, in, at first, we started to research about that and uh, try to see if that job profiles was sti were still uh, uh, a necessity or not. And we find out uh, a lot of things, but mainly in Portugal, Greek, uh, Greece, and Italy, that are, were the, f the, the three countries more involved in this, in this 
things. We, we had a lot of uh, different things involved with. We have uh, focus, focus groups, experts involved. We have uh, some questionnaires and some surveys done in this area. We gather all the information about uh, museum courses that, has, that have digital disciplines on them. Uh, uh, in, uh, mainly in universities, and we find out some uh, emerging job profiles that we'll talk about it later. One of these um, uh, outcomes of, from this research was this, uh, this publication that is available on our website, that you can find it, it's completely free, uh, digital. Uh, um, we identified the fundamental digital and transferable competencies needed by museums in order to make museums thrive in our digital society. But also we find out some emerging job profiles from museum professional and we also published it in a report, not a, a specific book, with the four emerging job profiles that we identified in Portugal, Greece and, and Italy. One of the other things that we started to, to that the project uh, take us to, was, the, was um, uh, some reflections from 10 uh, international museums. We made some interviews, our colleagues from Italy made some interviews, and they came up with this uh, very successful publication, the Museum of the Future that has uh, some interviews and some very interesting thoughts about uh, the future of museums from 10 museums, from 10 international museum directors and, and people in charge that will try to uh, answer the four questions that you see on the slide. We came as, uh, uh, as well to, to uh, the Ten Commandments, as we told in the project for digital transformation, because this project is about digital transformation, and we are uh, keeping this to, to our minds in every single stage of the project, this digital transformation decalog uh, that you are seeing as well. So we found out for job role profiles, digital strategy manager, uh, digital collections curator, interactive experience developer, and online community manager. We came up with these four, but there are a lot of different job profiles, and you can find, for instance, in, in Portugal, uh, you can find a lot of museums that within the same person have these four responsibilities to do, to carry out the work of these uh, different things. So, we started to think about it and uh, we had some descriptions uh, 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 made as well in, within the project. I, I'm not going for every single one, but I will take some time and I will share the, the presentation with you if the organization wants to. But just to, some of them are more clearer for everyone, a digital collections curator. I think everyone agrees that is a job profile for the future. Uh, digital strategy manager, it's a more political uh, job profile, but it is essential. Uh, the digital interactive experience developer, it was difficult for us uh, to translate this for Italy and for Greece and for Portugal, but we can found a lot of people asking from these three countries, asking someone to help the, help the museum to bring digital for their exhibitions, permanent or uh, temporary. And one that I think that is the most uh, needed, that is online community manager. Uh, in the second stage, we, uh, the project predicted that we needed to address these job profiles to, keep, to help people get the, the competencies needed to, to work in these four job profiles. We needed to go first in a very simple but demanding uh, online course, a MOOC, a massive online open course that was 
open that was open and free as uh, a MOOC must be, eight weeks and uh, uh, with a with a time span of ten hours a week uh, to work on it. The the course was named Essential Digital Skills for Museum Professionals, and the step two was is because we are running it now a specialization course uh, that will uh, dure uh, six months. It's uh, a combination of blending learning, e-learning and face-to-face -face, uh, learning and we are having some uh, internships as well in museums uh, f uh, within these six months, uh, ten weeks. Uh, I, I think I'll have just um, I don't think it will work because it is a YouTube video and I don't know if it works here. Okay, sorry, but it didn't work. Uh, it's our learning uh, um, uh, path and you can find it online as well. So uh, specifically the MOOC was run uh, as a pilot version our first edition. We have uh, 3,833 registration and 1,241 learners uh, completed the course. It's like an humongous number for a MOOC. MOOCs tend to, to have a completion rate of 10%, 5%, at least in my university they do. And we, uh, we managed to keep uh, 32 people interested until the end of the course. It was two or three specific competencies for a week. It was too demanding. We are now sure of that for the learners because, because it was... Uh, um, uh, we tried to keep it simple, but it, it's, uh, the modules were very complete and very demanding to learn and to do the, the, the works. And... Um, thank you. And the, the structure and design of the course, we have 22 training models of digital and transferable competencies. They were uh, uh, mainly articles, videos and presentations. And we have all, uh, at the end some quizzes for the students. And we also have foreign discussions and always for each module a tutor that uh, accompanies every single uh, 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 module. Uh, in the MOOC, we also, because we are a European project and we want to deliver the, the, all of this um, material for further use in the, when the project ended, so we, uh, we were working with some uh, frameworks of e-competencies and digital skills and transfer 21st transferable competencies and the modules were um, blended and uh, organized and norm normalized with that specific uh, frameworks and you can see here all the 22 models that uh, is, are having some things like uh, browsing, searching and filtering data information and digital content until ethical things, team working, you know, uh, a lot of different issues that we need to, to address. I, I had also here um, uh, a, a video from, from a, uh, a core, uh, one of the modules, but I, I, I will not uh, show you, but you can, because it's not working, sorry, I, I tested on the other computer but he's not working here. So the frameworks that, you can, uh, that we are compliant with, they are this DigiComp, the European e-competence framework, and also the 21st century skills. And now we are uh, fighting with the specialization course. I say fighting because it's a very demanding task for us. We have one course per, per file, uh, one course that is digital strategy manager, one for digital collections curator, another one for interactive experience developer and a final one for online community manage, manage, manager. They are being delivered, delivered 
in Portugal, Italy and Greece. We have 120 learners that was, were uh, chosen uh, from the 1,020, uh, 200 and something that, uh, that finished the MOOC. The MOOC was, uh, um, was demanding for, for participating on, on this specialization course. They are mostly museum professionals, students and unemployed people that are working with us. And we started September 16 and we are finishing in March 13. Uh, and uh, they, they will be uh, 25 digital skills and 20 transfer skills for the four job profiles. So some conclusions on the project we have um, made a lot of it, it is a, a lot of work, a very hard work to to put uh, this kind of tools together. We are looking for the work that we have carried uh, in these um, uh, last three years, and we are now uh, finding things like other projects, other European projects. I was talking with Teresa. Uh, another colleague from Portugal that is here. She was in an, in other project about another Erasmus Plus project that was talking about how to learn digitization processes. And we could manage to keep, keep, keep these works. Uh, these two projects, they have the same interest and it's uh, difficult to, to cope with that. Uh, one is uh, the, the, that it's too, uh, spread the work of and the money that is uh, paid for Erasmus Plus project and never, uh, not, we don't have uh, any communication between these projects and I think, and we think at Musa that will be a very huge step for the, for the future if the Commission could manage to keep the, uh, some kind of platform to work with different projects that are uh, addressing the same issues and also one of the possible way forward to deal with the necessity of digital skills in museums is to work not only as we do on this uh, training um, and, uh, and uh, uh, tools that we are delivering within this project, but we need also to address things as, uh, at national levels with uh, better and most focused on digital national museum policies. For instance, in Portugal, this is a very, very big issue that is now starting to be to being discussed. Uh, I know that uh, in England and uh, in other uh, countries, they are more uh, aware of that from many years from now. But in Portugal, the policies uh, are not uh, even now dealing with this. And the other thing is the financial resources that we need to um, keep up because we, th this area tends to uh, be uh, very um, rapidly obsolescent uh, and we need to keep up investing on new tools, on new uh, digital uh, uh, transformation skills and things like that. And, we are only addressing this small part at the first uh, thing. So uh, I have here a very nice example that uh, the digital skills uh, adapted for a museum, but nevertheless it's, it's another YouTube video so you can see it at home. It's the new experience from the Cooper, Cooper Hewitt. It is an, uh, uh, a Smithsonian Museum in New York. And I invite you to go to, for, for their website and to look in, in this new experience because it's a very, very nice project to use digital skills and digital tools in our museums. Thank you so much.